a thinking mistake called survivorship bias results in incorrect conclusions. It occurs when we fail to take into account prior failures sufficiently, and when we presume that past success tells the entire story. Many people share their success stories with the world, which inspires a lot of people and has a big impact, but fewer people share their struggles, which distorts people's perceptions of the world. Most conversations center on who won, or how top performers got there. But, we never hear or read anything in the press about their past failures, or all the unpleasant effects they endure. This is because of survivorship bias. We pay attention to what we can see while ignoring what we cannot. Also, it substantially affects our capacity to estimate the likelihood that something will occur. The reality is that most businesses fail, and most actors face a lot more hardships than what is shown in the media, which in turn influences us. Survivorship bias can also lead to bad decision-making in terms of finance, health, or any other business. To help us understand better, let's discuss a variety of examples. We don't hear much about college dropouts, even though today's society views leaving school to pursue your passion as a terrible mistake. Yet did you know that most successful people, like Mark Zuckerberg and Steve Jobs, are high school dropouts who devoted their lives to pursuing their passions? Just how happy and immensely wealthy these people are in the outer world is demonstrated. Another example might be that everyone consults different reviews before making a purchase. But comparatively few people pause to think about what was left out of those reviews. Alternatively, how many customers purchased the item but left no reviews at all? Life coaches and motivational speakers often treat positive thinking as the key to happiness. Perhaps this is why unrealistic optimism, the tendency to overestimate the likelihood that good things will happen and underestimate the likelihood that bad things will happen, is one of the most pervasive human traits. Studies consistently show that a large majority of the population displays an overly optimistic outlook. Pessimism is, in brief, playing the sure game. You cannot lose at it, you may gain. It is the only view of life in which you can never be disappointed. Optimism and pessimism are therefore judgmental biases that make for poor decisions, leading to worse outcomes and lower well-being. Particularly prone to harmful errors of this sort are career choices, saving decisions, and any choice involving risk and uncertainty. Positive thinking is frequently emphasized as the secret to happiness by life coaches and motivational speakers. Perhaps this explains why unrealistic optimism is one of the most prevalent human tendencies, which is the tendency to overestimate the likelihood that good things will happen, and underestimate the likelihood that unpleasant things will happen. Surveys continuously reveal that the vast majority of people have an excessively optimistic outlook on life. In summary, pessimism is playing the safe game. Now let's focus on the history of survivorship bias. The term survivorship bias comes from a phenomenon that occurred during World War II, when military strategists were looking for bullet holes in planes that had returned from missions. They wanted to check for areas of the planes that had been hit the most, assuming that those were the most vulnerable spots. However, a statistician named Abraham Wald pointed out that the planes that didn't return had likely been hit in other, more critical areas. By only studying the planes that had survived, the strategists were drawing the wrong conclusions about how to protect the planes. This shows us how we focus only on the success stories, and how we miss out on the other important information which contributes to failure. For us to avoid the survivorship bias, we need to focus on both successful and unsuccessful cases, and be aware of the factors that may have contributed to failure as well as success. That is all about the survivorship bias. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel, Explified.